Hey, hi everybody. Thought it'd be fun to just kind of go through our state lineup uh, today and, and while we're here down the cellar and, and, and talk about them a little bit. So starting out with Sauvignon Blanc, one of my favorite wines uh, came from a, our Dos Vinas vineyard. When we first acquired that vineyard, it only had two different grape varieties. Uh, today there's a little bit more, but uh, still got the Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, and it's a great, great grape from Paso Robles. It creates a nice crisp, uh, crisp wine, not, not herbaceous, not, not overly grassy. It's got some of those nice characters, uh, beautiful light straw color that we get, uh, from, from these grapes. A little bit of melon in there, some peach, uh, also a 90 points from the wine enthusiast, which uh, just is a testament to our winemaking team. Even has a little hint of the uh, style you get from uh, New Zealand, which I really like. Um, real, real nice on the palate, real crisp. This is a great wine this time of year um, to, cook, to, to use while you're cooking your meal and maybe some of it in the meal. But uh, super with light fishes and, and uh, scallops, stuff like that. Hmm. Maybe a little peach in there, too. Salami Blanc, 90 points, wine enthusiast, state wine, part of our stellar lineup on the state list. Another 90-point uh, wine is our, uh, we're going to do the Merlot next. Uh, and, you know, Merlot, for me, it, it's underappreciated. You know, it got got a bad rap back in the day, but now it's uh, coming back quite strong. And again, made from organic grapes. It's got a 90 points with the, the wine enthusiast. A little softer in tannins in the, than our Cabernet, for example, but has a lot of the same character. A lot of black cherry, plum, oak, vanilla. And so it's aged in oak. This one's been aged in oak for about 12 months. And we say, when we say that, we're talking about, you know, 59 gallon barrels that they're aging in. And predominantly French and American, but predominantly French. And it got a really nice, um, the oak really stands out nicely. Um, and now that we're mo moving into the res, firmer tannins, even, even the, uh, the Merlot from Paso Robles tends to have some backbone to it. Not, comp not, uh, you know, it's softer than Cabernet, but it's just, it's not wimpy at all. It's got really, really great color, nice balance in the mouth. Those flavors come through of the, the red and black fruits. And it's got a nice lingering finish. Great alternative to Cabernet. I mean, it's a stand, they're standalone wines on their own, but if someone's a real Cabernet fan, they would love this wine. Uh, moving into the Cabernet, it's a 2018 vintage. Um, I would say Cabernet is what, what's really put Paso Robles on the map. Uh, just the, the day-night difference in temperatures really helps the, the, the grapes mature in a nice, uh, balanced fashion. We are also using grapes from both our east side and west side vineyards of the Appalachian. So you know, we have different kinds of terrain of higher elevations, uh, some uh, sandy old river bottoms and, and ancient uh, seabeds. So this one is actually really neat because it's got uh, Malbec and Syrah added to it for uh, added complexity. And Depth of flavor. It's got a uh, well rock again, where a little bit cooler area, but still warm enough to really bring up the Cabernet fl flavors. But it, uh, the well rock tends to have more color and a little more tan into it. So we, we balance that out with some of the other areas. Stone Throw Vineyard is right around the winery. And then also Hog Canyon is near there too. But 
blackberry, black currant. Uh, the, the thing about Paso also is the, the fruit is really forward. It's not, not annoyingly forward, but it's there. And uh, some people might think, oh, it's, it, it makes it an easier drinking uh, Cabernet than some areas. It may not age well. Well, we have uh, wine, wines in our cellar from the 80s and they are still drinking fantastically. So even though they have that real accessibility young, they do, they do, uh, they last quite a while. Mm. Get a little hint of raspberry also in the mouth. <laughs> you see me puckering up a little bit. You know, I'm not eating any food with this. It's definitely got a little more tan structure than the, than the Merlot did, but you can feel that kind of scraping on your top of your mouth with your tongue. But really, really, really well balanced. Just also 92 points on a tasting panel, 90 points with a wine enthusiast. This is really a, a Cabernet that over delivers. And oh, the aroma is really fantastic. Also aged 18 months in oak. so. A little more oak time, so you get that nice slow oxidative pro process from being in the barrels. Uh, picked ripe, and it's about 13 and a half alcohol. Hmm, I can smell that all day. Definitely with your heartier meals, but super enjoyable. Probably with some soft cheeses also. Yeah, and you know that's a that's a, a real quick look at our our estate uh, lineup, uh, multiple ninety point uh, winners from uh, wine judges and uh, critics. Uh, super uh, wines to enjoy anytime, and uh, yeah, I think any, anybody would be wise to put it in their in their quiver. So, hey, thanks for listening. Um, maybe we'll go through the reserves next time. Take care. Cheers.